is um, from our Weather Academy school, and uh, we continue the conversation with them and these kids having some fun in the snow from Fisher Elementary in Speedway. The snow pretty much gone, uh, and it's even melting what's left on the ground. But as we look ahead, we're tracking a cold night, some sunshine tomorrow, a dry Friday, and oh yes, perhaps more snow as we start the weekend. So lots to cover this evening. From that snowy start, we've got a sunny finish, milder too. We made it to 46 degrees. Right now we've got a north wind at 16. A nice jump despite the fact that we started the day with uh, some snow. 27 this morning. 46 is our new high temperature. It is going to be cold again tonight. Skies are already starting to clear. We'll fall into the low 20s. Forecasting 23 in Noblesville, Muncie 21, Rushville 20, Nashville 22. From there, lots of sunshine in the Thursday forecast. It'll be a nice jump from the 20s to 38 degrees by lunchtime and high temperatures tomorrow. We'll be in the range of 45 to 50. We'll be in the upper 40s and low 50s and forecasting dry conditions on Friday. So take advantage of the next uh, quiet days, the next two quiet days. Future Track 13 shows what's headed our way as early as Friday night. We'll stop this Friday evening, 5 p.m. Most of Friday daylight hours will be dry, even early Friday evening. It'll be later Friday night that we track the leading edge of our next weather system. This is Friday at 11 p.m. Future Track 13 shows the arrival of rain, sleet, and snow. Looks like we get snow and a wintry mix off and on during the day on Saturday. And if this track plays out, we could be tracking another round of accumulating snow as we start the weekend. So stick with us. 48 degrees is what we're forecasting the next couple of afternoons. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow. A few clouds around on Friday. That next weather system arrives Friday night into Saturday. Wintry mix and snow. What we're forecasting, 38. We'll end the weekend. If we get some snow to stick on Saturday, it will melt by Sunday. And then we've got some 50s on the way for early next week.